What's going on today, guys? Uh, we are back in the garage uh, for another tool review. Uh, today we have a super duty uh, snap-on air hammer. Uh, the part number is PH3050B. Uh, currently on the snap-on website, it goes for $505.95. Uh, it will do 250 hits per minute. Uh, the barrel is made of high grade steel. It's got uh, four positions um, built in here uh, for uh, airflow, as you can see. Um, the notch is on here. Uh, four, three, two, and of course, one. Um, it has a nice quick change adapter here. And we'll get into that once we get into these here. Uh, it's used for cutting large bolts, rivets, and separating ball joints, is what the website says. Uh, it is nine inches uh, long. <clears throat> it is 5.9 pounds, so it's a, a nice hefty tool here. Uh, it is made in the USA. It does come with a nice two-year warranty, uh, which is nice because a lot of the uh, Snap-on Air tools uh, only have a one-year warranty. So... It allows uh, 2.1 uh, CFM, which is the amount of airflow that you can have in it. Um, the set that you see here, um, the part number um, for this set isn't on the website. Uh, this set's probably two or three years old now, and they don't have this exact uh, set on the website. But uh, this one goes for roughly $315. Uh, they do have uh, five-piece sets, and then they have a, a four-piece set as well. Uh, if you're looking to buy them individually, uh, depending on, <clears throat> obviously, the length and the material, and uh, if there's anything have to be done with it, like this one, or uh, put an edge on, it, uh, it can range from about $55 to uh, $80, uh, depending on which one you want to buy. So a good $65 is what you'll probably pay for any one of those there. Um, but with that said, um, I've got it hooked up now to just a 20 gallon air compressor. Uh, so we're not gonna go too long on the, uh, the test here, but we are gonna try to shear bolt off. And I probably should have picked a smaller bolt, um, but uh, we're gonna do uh, a larger one just to see what we can get through here. So let's uh, let's see what we got. So let's get up here nice and quick. It may rattle some stuff off of my shelf, I've moved quite a bit, but we're gonna get as close as we can. We'll take this one off. This is a brand new nut here. <clears throat> and we'll see. If we can cut that bad boy off. Uh, now, always use eye and ear protection, especially with this one, because it is loud. First, we'll come back over here and We'll put one in. <clears throat> so, hook up there. And then we'll put the smaller cutting attachment on it. And then, like I said, it's a quick change. So you put it in, move it back, and it's not gonna come out. So, let's get back to over here. And see what we can do. Hopefully it holds up.
right, as you can see here, uh, it did a little bit of damage. Let's see if we can get in there real quick. As you can see there, it cut, uh, I don't know, maybe a fifth into it. Didn't do as good of a job as I wanted it to do <clears throat> as far as trying to uh, shear that uh, bolt in half. Um, the bit here is uh, definitely nice and flat. It's not sharp anymore. Uh, it was definitely brand new when I first put it on. This one here, as you can see, nice and sharp. And the bottom one, just a little bit rounded. But all in all, that is a really big bolt. Uh, if you wanted to cut uh, something like that up, uh, I would definitely just go with a cutoff wheel. Uh, but as far as uh, the punches uh, here, uh, I've, I've used uh, quite, a, quite a few of those um, and they work great. The tool works really good. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, airflow uh, that allows it goes into. Um, but the big question, is it worth the price tag of $505? Um, I would say with uh, the uh, Facebook pages, uh, especially the tool, uh, tool Addicts page and the Snap-on Junkies page and stuff like that, uh, a lot of people ask if the air hammer uh, is worth it and a lot of them say that it's uh, <clears throat> the one of the better ones for sure and that they would recommend it as well as I would. Uh, so in my opinion it's definitely worth the $505 if you use it more than uh, maybe once a week, maybe more than once a week. Um, but there's always the saying that if you need to borrow it more than once then you need to buy the tool yourself. Um, but if you guys have any uh, questions or comments, uh, go ahead and leave them down there and I'll get back with you. If you guys want to see uh, some more videos, uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, guys.